It's Friday morning, August 14, and today is a big day for Kendrick Mendieta. The 14-year-old freshman is a student of the first class of the new Cristo Ray College Prep High School in Dallas. This is the first day of school. It's now a little before 6 a.m., and Kendrick's father has already left for work. Kendrick and his mother, Sonia, are anxious. This is the biggest opportunity of Kendrick's life. He's the only one in my family that goes to these kind of schools, you know, and for me uh, to do that is, and for my husband, it's, it's a big deal, actually, <laughs> you know. I just feel, like, determined to finish the year, like, with good grades. Kendrick's determination will soon be put to the test. Little more than a mile away, teachers are making final preparations for Krista Ray's first day. It's a momentous occasion for all of them. They are opening the newest private high school in the Diocese of Dallas, and with it, the school's first 128 students. Kendrick, how are you this morning, man? Hi. The man shaking Kendrick's hand is Kelby Woodard, Cristo Ray Dallas's founding president. You nervous today? No, not really. Cristo Ray Dallas is the newest of 30 schools in the Cristo Ray network. All schools in the Cristo Ray network aim to reach low-income youth and are located in some of the city's poorest areas. In this case, the Pleasant Grove neighborhood of Southeast Dallas. At the start of the 2014 school year, the Diocese of Dallas had 31 diocesan and private elementary schools and seven high schools. But acting on recommendations from a study on improving Catholic education in the diocese, Bishop Kevin Farrell oversaw the merger of two elementary schools in Southeast Dallas. The result was the creation of St. Philip and St. Augustine Academy and the complete renovation of the old St. Philip campus, where the new academy is today. An opportunity presented itself and Cristo Rey made its home on the old St. Augustine Elementary School campus. In July, in preparation for fall classes and to prepare Cristo Rey students for a future college education, students gathered for orientation at their new school and the University of Dallas. There's going to be a lot of challenges and a lot of hardships. I remember um, last week when we were talking that we expect so much from you guys and I know it's going to be hard, I know it's going to be tough and there's going to come some times where you're going to hit some pretty big roadblocks. But having that motivation hopefully from whether it's a staff member or a friend or someone in the community or in the church that keeps you guys going because guess what, we all believe that you guys can succeed. Going to the campus for the first time, stepping on a campus of a college, it was a great experience. I got to know how it felt like, how how they went to school, um, what they did. Academics are only part of the formula at Cristo Rey. After their orientation, students participated in an NFL-like draft day, where each was matched with one of 30 corporate partners. One day a week from 8 to 5, each student works for their company. In exchange, their tuition is nearly completely paid for. Kendrick was paired with HFF, a commercial real estate company in the heart of downtown Dallas. We're taking 14-year-old kids, some of whom have never been downtown, and putting them into a white-collar environment where they're learning that it takes hard work and a college education to be very successful. And that is sort of the great equalizer because our students have not had those connections traditionally. We're a very unique industry and even within the world of commercial real estate it's we have a very unique role so I think it's just great that we get to expose you know the kids to this in this type of environment. The Cristo Rey model has created a first for most of its students. Kendrick is an only child. His mother and father who immigrated from Mexico have worked long hours for as long as they can remember to make a better life for their son. Sonia is a housekeeper. Martine works in construction. And even though money has always been tight, they purchased a home and committed to providing Kendrick with a Catholic education. And Kendrick is acutely aware of their sacrifices. I could tell how they suffered. 
Like my dad comes very late and he comes dirty and comes like tired and stuff like that. And my mom comes like tired too. Her hands are wasted. Her hands are wasted and that just keeps on pushing me to reach my goals and to keep on going, try to go above what they reached, try to go to college, try to work. Kendrick's sights are set high. He loves math and science and hopes to attend Texas A&M University. He would be the first in his family to go to college. His literature teacher, Tim Woodward, sees no reason that shouldn't happen. A lot of the students at Crystal Ray struggle because of the higher level of rigor in our classrooms, but Kendrick is someone who digs into those challenges and really works with them. He like thrives on the challenge that's ahead of him and brings others in to help him with that challenge. He's very enthusiastic about work. I can tell that he doesn't like to have much downtime. He's really eager to help out in any way he can. As soon as he's done with one project, he wants to know what else he can do to help. An alum of Dallas Jesuit and the University of Dallas, Woodard embarked on a business career that eventually took him into elected office in Minnesota. As a state legislator working on education reform, he heard testimony from Krista Ray Minneapolis students and saw how the school model was impacting their future. He left politics to become Krista Ray Dallas's first president. The thing that I ask God to help grant us is the ability to give them a college prep education and a, a belief in their faith that they can defend. They're learning more about their faith they're learning more about the work environment and they're learning more academically than most 14 year olds um, from the neighborhoods they come from. The teachers are very, they really want you to learn. The only important thing for us is to make us or make sure that we're learning and we're moving on to the next subject. It is a blessing to be able to see my son growing in faith. Going to Crystal Ray, it makes me feel good because he's He's knowing more about God. He's trusting God. I want him to discover what, what God wants him to do in this life. But I always tell him, it has to be something that makes you happy because it's gonna be something that you're gonna be doing every day. So if you're happy, you're, you're not gonna feel like you're working because you're gonna enjoy whatever you're doing.